With 40 seconds to spare, we are now into the next game over here, and that is going to be Overpass. Four seasons gaming on the on the commentary side, and Sigma. That did, oh okay okay okay. Whew, that was just a DM. Oh, that, that was just DM. My God, I thought that that was an actual game. Jesus. But anyways, yes. Four seasons gaming is going to be on the counter terrorist side, and Sigma is going to be on to the terrorist side. Once again, this is a map pick by Sigma, and the previous game went over to Zigma. So congratulations over to Zigma for getting themselves the first uh, first game, uh, the first match of the best of three series. Just one more game and they will be moving on to the best of 16. But that is considering the fact that if they were to win. I believe that the crowd favorites is probably going to be onto the side of Zigma from Thailand. But hey, I, I, I'm really rooting for the side of Four Seasons Gaming because you never know. This, um, the, the players from Four Seasons Gaming, they're, uh, they're, uh, they are from Korea and they may very well be one day going to be um, really good, really big superstars or maybe K-pop stars in, in the future and they will remember me for being the one that rooted for them. Woohoo! But putting that all onto the side, you know, Overpass is definitely the map whereby communication is uh, utmost important. Um, of course, there's a lot of footsteps that may overlap one another because you don't even know if, whether it's on, if the footsteps is coming from upper or lower. And thus, that is also one of the reasons why I absolutely hate to cast in Overpass because looking at the minimap does not help nuts when understanding where the counter terrorist is at. The only thing that we can know is B site and A site. That's all. And maybe a little bit of monster or ABC or... or waters or you sandbags or you get you get a point of toilet perhaps because that's one of my favorite places um in real life and of course in, in game itself but we are now on of course on a pause right a little bit of a strategy uh, a strategy discussion from the side of uh fall seasons gaming as well as for sigma looking forward to it once again for those people that have just came in this is the ROG Masters Asia Pacific Finals round of 32. This is the second game between Four Seasons Gaming versus Sigma in the best of three format. And my name is Abstract. I will be the caster for today's game in uh, this one and the next one. Uh, I really hope that you guys were to enjoy uh, what I have got in store for you guys as I've walked you through all of the action as little analysis as possible because I'm really bad at analysis, but all I can do is give you a little of a smile to your face because I talk about absolutely random stuff such as the coins being dead in Inferno and I don't think that I have any other euphemism on analogy when it comes to the side of Overpass. Probably the only thing that I can say is exploding toilet bowls but I don't think that that's going to be that big of an uh, impact. But either way, Four Seasons Gaming started off in the counter terrorist side, going in for a really fast run right onto Connector and holding their horses. Only for them to, or only for Liger to get completely melted down and so will Rapid Air. A little bit of a tunnel visioning for the side of Four Seasons Gaming. They are literally unprepared for what Zigma is ready to bring out to them. The amount of sandbags and concrete bags are all laying all around. This is pretty much Sigma saying that we, they are just going to bring a entire Land Rover or a, a, a giant roller just mashing over to the side of Four Seasons because that was fast. That run was faster than the pause itself. This is... This, that was fast. But now Sigma is going to be pretty happy, right? They're confident is going right through the roof and that is understandable all of them all of the members has now picked themselves up with a kick ready to roll down their opponents with no question asked as would what what immediately popped their head off to the side of voice and rapid air as well but surprise they are not going to be stopping over at the side of toilet i'm pretty sure that juhun yu has been camping the toilet for pretty darn long that diarrhea is going to be working pretty good for them but it does seem like the confidence coming from the son of sigma has went through the head and giving four seasons with two three ak and this is what they say ladies and gentlemen complacency is dull don't be complacent if you're gaming don't all buy. Don't full buy in round number two. Man. Maybe go for SMGs or something like that. 
And that is two free AKs over to the side of Fall Seasons Gaming. That is a lot of weight off of their shoulders. And I would laugh if Fall Seasons Gaming were to lose this round despite getting the uh, despite getting yourself a massive amount of discount in terms of a uh, uh, gun, 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 gun control, perhaps. Maybe some legislation would be needed. It's reality. Slowly walks at the outside of, of the toilets. He ducks his head down and showing that the ledge comes to that. Tries to go for the one dig, but boy oh boy, it is not the one dig. Ego tries to go for the one dig too, only for himself to be tagged down to 23 HP. Liger is left in 96. Almost close to 69, but it's not that close to the 69 that we want. But Four Seasons Gaming, they are pretty confident. They have all the weapons that they need. Their opera is only at six HP, uh, 7 HP, but it's okay because he is playing as an opera. After all, it is a one hit, one dream. Goes down to the hands of Osu player, while Osu player himself goes down to the hand of Wood. What? What? Two members left from the side of Sigma, with only thirty seconds left onto the clock. Most of the members coming from Sigma is slowly making their way over to A side. Not gonna go for the plant just yet. Makes a rotation down, just cause whiff. He massively whiffed, and Jihunyu and Laika. Takes the run for themselves, and I have no idea what Zigma was trying to do. But alas, that was a that was a good try. I'm not gonna lie, that was a really good try from inside of Zigma. Just cause he tried to put all of the lead over to the bodies of uh, Four Seasons, but I guess his sensitivity was getting a little bit too high for him for, for his liking. But you know what they say, you know. When the target is too close to your body, sometimes it's, it's a lot harder to press the button. It's a lot harder. And, um, just a small little hint. You might want to keep your eyes open on somewhere around the screen. I don't know what's happening though, but you get what I mean. Maybe it's not a scoreboard that you should be looking out for, but some kind of a code word. And, uh, you can find out more once you take a look, uh, once you take a look at the website side of ROG Masters, of course, at ROGmasters.gg. Speaking of ROG Masters, who is going to be the master of Overpass? And it does seem like right now, the lead is heading over to the side of Fall Seasons Gaming. We do have a really good holding corner coming from the side of Void 2. They one down, but unfortunately wasn't able to go for the quick score on the side on to Just Cause though. Wood what, what gets a kill down onto Osu player as well with the last member remaining from the side of Zigma. So you gotta still manage to get a pretty good shot down the side of Jihunyu with only a Deagle. Grab it there. Says hello. Oh, he actually picked up the AMP. He gets a kill. And he rotates over to the side of Connector. May be able to turn this game around for himself. Up on two sandbags. And get the plant. Down on the cons. The AWP is definitely gonna be the most valuable gun that he can have. Watching down through onto Connector. No one's appearing just yet. Unfortunately, that is because Four Seasons Gaming, his member, is gonna head his way over from Heavens. Down over to Sandbags. And surprise! Nice! Manages to clutch this game. Let's go, now, bro! That's a nice game coming from the side of Sigma. Clutch the round in a 1v3 scenario. And of course, with that AWP. Tosses over the AWP over to the side of reality. Secrets, man oh man, you would never, you never ever disappoint me. Sigma slowly playing their way down for this game as well. I think that they'll be doing pretty well. The way they're playing once again, a single lurker over to the side of B, while the rest slowly heads their way over to A, and very hopefully be able to gain control and gain territory control over to the side of the toilets. But unfortunately, a white boots right by the park. 
would what want as well as Sigurus immediately get a really nice pincer over the side of Rapid Air after whiffing the AWP shot. A little bit of an aggression from the side of Force Since Gaming is definitely not appreciated by the rest of the teammates as they are probably going to be leading him up or playing so aggressively as the offer. But also player is here to claim the round. He gets a nice shot down on the cigarettes, one of the core player from Sigma, and of course one of the most important player because he smokes a lot, he fires a lot, and he flashes people. It's 2v3. Will four seasons be able to clutch this round despite having Osu player at a sliver of health? As Wood what what? Slowly walks his way around bank. Slowly and surely. Stalks behind one of the members from four seasons I didn't think that Jihoon Yu will be camping behind that APC. Now who would have thought, even from a spectator point of view, I did not see that coming. And Jihoon Yu tries to go for a full spray down on the side of Just Cause. And that is... Oh man, oh man, ah, come on. Came in from the side, goes for a really nice refrag on the side of Four Seasons Gaming, ensuring that Four Seasons Gaming is unable to save that AWP. 2 to 3 now. Looking pretty darn good for Sigma, but it is not the end for Four Seasons Gaming as well. I don't know how well Four Seasons Gaming is playing, but as a CT, they have lost 3 rounds in a row, or not in a row actually, but they have lost 3 rounds, which in my opinion, not the best record. They should be able to get a little bit more rounds for themselves, and if and, and that probably is going to happen from next round onwards probably. Would or what immediately put two lead right into the faces of Liger as well as one not sure whether that was a collateral. Oh my god! Zigma's precision is absolutely insane with just a single pixel popping right out from the stairs and yet he's able to just get that shot in. Man, absolutely disgusting. Rapid Air also went down to the uh, to the hands of Akaman. 2 to 4. Zigma is not giving four seasons any chance to breathe. Not giving them a second, of ch uh, a second to drink any water. And speaking of water, I do want to drink some water for myself as well. Nonetheless, I hope that everyone is excited for what Sigma is able to put onto the table. Is it going to be a large dinner? Oh, it's, it's gonna be small little appetizers. I hope it's gonna be a large dinner. Because I don't think that Force Seasons Gaming is able to take this round, uh, take this game over from Sigma the way that they are playing. Their marksmanship, Zigma's marksmanship, I gotta say, is pretty crisp. Like, I really do think that their marksmanship is pretty crisp. And they check the corners really well, they pre fire, and they have decent communication going, uh, going through the game. While well, Secrets holds down the fort all the way from T base. Just cause takes one down from Void. With only three members left. The manpower has now been equalized. Just cause goes for a smoke and slowly back himself down all over to connector. Perhaps a little bit of a baiting strategy or just kind of changing things up. This is definitely a change up coming in from baseball. Zigma is definitely going to be heading their way over to the side of B side. With only Jihoon Yu as the defender. And I don't think that Jihoon Yu will be, will, or will be able to save this round out. It was close. Was not close enough. Connector though. That is one down from, coming from the side of Connector. Liger's dead. Now he's left with Jihoon Yu. Slowly, slowly walking around, but he did not check the corner! Right as I was talking about the fact that Zigma checks the corner, Jihoon Yu did not check the corner down by the short. Really unfortunate. Absolutely unfortunate. Zigma is going to have a great time in this very specific series. 2-5, to five, round 8, pending. Ouch. Oh man, I can smell the amount of salt coming from the side of what, what Akaman has 
seem to receive a little bit of damage for themselves as well. Wudo One is just suffering a little bit of the Molotov damage, but it does seem like the rest of the members coming from four seasons are just holding their fort down at the side of Connector. They bring two down. It's gonna be left with three, but will they be able to hold this down? I really doubt so. How about the retakes? It doesn't seem like things are working well for the side of Zigma though. Zigma makes their way down, or rather up the stairs, right to A. Presses the button, and the bomb is planted. Four Seasons Gaming, they're gonna be wrapping all the way around the map, like, like, like little cockroaches, heading their way into spawn, if I may. As Just Cause pushes right down to the, down to the ground, gets one kill onto Liger, holding down onto Bank. None of the members from Sigma, they are ready to show themselves until now as Reality M takes the Sucker Punch from the side of Zoid uh, from Void 2 with that OW! Oh, second Sucker Punch from the side of Zoid uh, 2. That is Deagles in the faces of 2. And now it is going to be quite a relief when it comes to economic suppression from Four Seasons Gaming. That is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. Sigma, they had everything in their game. They had the bomb planted. They did not expose themselves. They could have had a really good fight against the members from Four Seasons. But unfortunately, they got absolutely cucked by a Deagle Boy. Who would win? Someone holding on an AK with full body armor and Kefla? Or Deagle Boy? Unfortunately, this time we will not be able to see much from Deagle Boy. As everyone else have got their primary weapons. Osu player tries to take the first peek. He tries to get the first tag. But unfortunately, things are not working well for him. Osu player is probably gonna get picked up real soon, though. He's still focusing onto this very entrance. He manages to, but it does seem like four seasons players, their communication is on track. Ensuring that the other side of Toilets can never be penetrated because Rapid Air is just holding down this aisle with the AWP. No one is going to be backstabbing that one defender at all. Except for that part. And that. Zigma came out of absolutely nowhere as they slithered their way into B side. Sorry, A side. They slithered their way over to A-side, manages to even get the bomb planted down. The Four Seasons Gaming, they are not giving up just yet. Three members alive. A flash goes out, expecting one coming from uh, from Kari. No headshots from Just Call just yet, he hops himself right on top of the lorry. And it doesn't seem like he's gonna get much as, um, get much work done. Also player, as well, uh, also player himself manages to stick it and get a really good shot down over to the side of the members from Sigma. That said, four to five, Sigma was not able. To hold their ground despite all the compliments that I've thrown over to them. Man, cast us curse. And you know what they say about humans? We can't compliment them. Compliment them and they start to hold down. Right, you can't say a pencil sharp just because it's sharp, because the second later after using it is no longer sharp, it's dull. And Zigma is starting to get dull. They are like the pencil. Ah, oh, come on. Didn't manage to get a really nice shot down onto Juhunyu, though. He defended T base. The aggression from Four Seasons has been somewhat punished, but it is not a major punish. It's balanced. It's Four Seasons. They're looking for peeps. Double up setup. One from long and one from toilets. And the flash comes out. Smoke comes out. 
Rapid Air heads his way down into the bank. The smoke is going to be prohibiting his uh, his vision now. It's not gonna be good. All every man for themselves. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Void two. He gotta hide himself as well. He licked one, but I don't think that Void two will be able. Uh, Reality M will be able to do quite much as well. Pretty sure they can see the barrel. He makes a quick run for it, but Void two. Who are you kidding? Try to go for the run for it. Reality M gets a really nice shot down on the rapid air. Also, player is gonna be the last man remaining. It's still gonna be somewhere around B side. And the bomb is planted on B as well. Reality M doesn't even need to head himself over to heaven to defend. It is still a win over to the side of Sigma. 4 to 6. And we are back to the discussion of hoping that 4 Seasons Gaming were to get two more rounds for themselves in order. To be no, actually no. Four seasons have to start winning. They have to start winning every single round from here onwards, because four seasons gaming they are the one on the CT side after all. Sigma, you can't let them be on the CT. They are gonna be phenomenal at the start of CT. But four seasons gaming, I don't even think that they're playing as a CT anymore. They are hands down playing as terrorists with the aggressiveness that they have in their feet. He manages to bring three members down from the side of Zigma despite being on a half buy. In fact, almost a force buy. Almost a force buy. Zigma with only two me two members left. I don't think that they know, uh, I don't think that they believe that they have a chance to win this round. The economy is looking pretty pathetic. So they do, do probably wouldn't want to overextend themselves. No loss bonuses. Not much to work with. Was that it? The Akaman actually should reality M. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think that was the case. But Akaman, he manages to go for a refrag. But he still has to clear four members from the side of Four Seasons Gaming. Everyone jolly well knows where Akaman is. There's no point walking through the toilet. Everyone knows that you have you have made your pack in this very specific toilet. The smell reeks. The smell flies around. Everyone knows that you're in the toilet so no matter what. And it is now five to six. Four Seasons Gaming is doing pretty darn well while Sigma is uh Getting a little bit of a uh, rusty, getting a little bit dull on their sharpest points. I can expect to see the Four Seasons Gaming may want to get themselves back in this game, and I have absolute faith and trust that they will be able to do it. With three person from the side of Four Seasons Gaming heading themselves over to B side, while two other members goes for the aggressive push down in A, down in park as well as down through the uh, uh, down through toilets. But surprisingly, Sigma went in all in for a fast run right into B. And they still manages to get a really good run for this. With one CT hiding right onto A short. Sorry, B short. I keep getting confused. But after all, it is still three members left. Two person in heaven and one person in B short. Is not really a consolidation yet. It's not equalized. The C4 is on the side and on the body of cigarettes. He's just gonna be holding himself somewhere. Getting himself real close. Reality M. He's trying to get a little bit more information over to the side of B short. But unfortunately, Rapid Air just did not expect to see Sigma actually checking the points. Immediately gets that really nice bomb plant, and of course, another one of that very nice one dig. And Four Seasons Gaming can be seen throwing their tails behind their backs and just making a run for it. This is looking pretty darn good. And just like that, Void 2 
Takes one kill over the side of Reality M. Five to seven, Sigma manages to get that round for themselves. I think that at this point of time, it is not much of a surprise, right? It is, there's not a lot of surprise that Sigma manages to get himself a good, uh, good amount of uh, wins and, of course, a good amount of kills. But I do want to see a little bit of a comeback gaming from the side of uh, Fortinus Gaming, though. Three men rushes over the B. They are trying to defend as much as they can. A good amount of Molotov and Sender even tossed right through. Connector control from Zigma has themselves over to the outs outside of uh, of toilets. No one's holding down on the toilets. The aggressiveness from Four Seasons Gaming is completely absent. As also player gets a really nice shot down onto Just Cause, but what about what? He came in to refrag for his fellow friend. A side completely compromised. Bombs planted. Feet sweating. As reality M is now dead. Liger wasn't able to hold his ground unfortunately against this one. And there's 5 8. A three round advantage in favor for Zigba. Just two more rounds before the end of the first half. Four Seasons Gaming, they are suffering. In uh, great loss, and at this point of time, I would say that it is impossible to underestimate them. Whatever that they, did, that they start to do now, I suppose, would, uh, would probably impress me uh, because of how strong Zigmar is. It could be very one sided, but four seasons they still manage to grab Zigmar by the scuff of the neck every now and then. And I wouldn't even say that Sigma made mis made that big of a mistake sometimes. It is just a peaking game, right? It is just peaking games that Four Seasons Gaming is able to get control for themselves. But when it comes to team strategies, communication, as well as movements, anything could impress me. Come on, tries to go for a long range spray. Did not quite work out. But four members of Sigma is now dead. Who do I want is the last man remaining. And Four Seasons Gaming, they gotta... They gotta not lose any members here, man. They can't, man. It's already expensive. This round is expensive. Sigma can still go for a full buyout once. Oh! There we go. At least... Four Seasons Gaming did not lose any men in that very fight. This is going to be the last round from the first half. Four Seasons Gaming, they gotta take this round. They got to take this round in order to make things as equalized as possible. Everyone has to force out all of their guns, force out whatever that they have. And Reality M, a common. They only have deagles to work with for themselves. Just cause with a Mac 10. Would what what as well as cigarettes with a primary. Would what is the one with the AK and cigarettes with the Galil. But, the same thing as what I said just now. At this point in time, this one can only impress me. As in reality, the M goes down. Just Cause goes for the refract. Unfortunately, the incendiary is just going to be forcing Just Cause to not be able to push right up to the stairs. But fortunately, they still manages to take control of the side of the con uh, over to the side of connector. A side's open. Sigurd takes it up to speed. All of the members from Forsyth's Gaming slowly rotates themselves right up. As Sigma plays it slow, they may want to turn, turn things around. They want to burn as much utilities as possible from the side of Four Seasons Gaming. As Sigurus looked down to the ground, down at his feet, or rather his completely non-existent feet. The fake is real. The fake is real. The slow pacing from Sigma has made Four Seasons think that Zigma is going to B-side. And now, Zigma has A-side. Sigurd with that trigger control. Oh, that control. Oh, that discipline. Oh, that discipline takes one. It takes two. But unfortunately, wasn't able to get the kill. The final kill in back. 
and it is all led with a common. Stay in your own gardens. Defuse, defuse, defuse. Defuse, go defuse, bro. Go for the defuse, bro. Bunny got destroyed from by rapid air. Now that is going to be the game for the first half, but. No time, no kid, no honey. My, oh my, that is going to be, that is a great game. That is a great game. In some sense, I thought that it was an 8-9, a very equal game. But no, Zigma manages to get themselves with a total of 9 wins for themselves. And that was great. That was absolutely great. Zigma 9, 4 Seasons Gaming with 6. Zigma is going to be on the counter-terrorist side now, while Four Seasons Gaming is going to be on to the terrorist. Things are starting are starting and will be a little bit spicy. Let's take a look exactly how Four Seasons Gaming decides to play this round out as the attackers, as the terrorist. And World One immediately gets a really nice duel. Beretta's face onto Void 2. Two members from Four Seasons Gaming is now dead. And just like that, more of the stuff is just down for the count. As Ju Hunyu, Akaman. Akaman is all alone. Holding on, but unfortunately he wasn't able to hold on long enough. Cigarettes has his way over. And just like that, he manages to absolutely wipe out the feats of his opponent. Completely destroyed everyone else, and that is going to be a double digit for the side of Zigma. Six to ten. A four point lead. This is definitely not going to be easy. A tough pill to swallow for the side of Four Seasons Gaming. But they have to do their very best. They have to do whatever that they can in order to beat Zigma. And the only thing that they can bring to the table... Hey, actually the amount of economy is not so bad. They forced this round with Galil's, mac and Hump. And even an MP5 SD. But look at that! Look at that MP5! Or oh, 9, sorry. Look at the MP9! And just wrecking everyone across the table. Zigma, literally Zigma rolling through the members of Four Seasons Gaming with only two members left. And the last two members is the one with the Galil. And we may very well be able to see some kind of uh, kill fest. The members from Four Seasons Gaming heads their way over to the fountain. Rapid Air goes down. Who knew? Getting a nice whiff of the smell in the bathroom. Gets the kill on to Akaman after getting pretty much high. He gets one, he gets two, he gets three in total for himself. And he can actually clutch this game for himself. A really good play indeed. He picked himself up with a Galil. Gonna be fighting against Sigurdes, which is, by the way, full health and, rack uh, and just decking with an M44. As Sigurd says hi, <laughs> immediately put Jihoon Yu down. The dream, the dream cannot be realized by Jihoon Yu. But I gotta give it to him. That was a really good play. It was a really good cover at outside of toilet. And I really do want to see more points like that from the side of Four Seasons Gaming. Five more rounds. Five more rounds before Zigma. Proceeds over to the round of 16. Force is giving. They're not gonna get let Sigma have the easy run out. As Sigurds opens the door, gets the kill down to Lyca. Reality M tries to go for one against the boy, but unfortunately, the other way around happened. The SM1014 from Woodward 1 is just immediately, un uh, immediately equipped. And why would you do that? But Woodward 1, as well as Just Cause, is now rocking the XM1014. They don't care anymore. Because they know that four seasons, they are gonna be playing with pistols. And what better way for them to up their economy than getting 800 kills, uh, sorry, 800 credits per kill. That 
the play of the, uh, the, the game, uh, play of the game. The amount of players is now equalized though. You who knew does have an M4A4. Boy and Rapid Air. The only thing they can work with is with Deagles. Long range quarters is probably their forte now. Considering the fact that World War What as well as Just Cause is gonna be playing onto the XM. But unfortunately, Zigmar. They are the one defending. Rapid Air gets a really nice shot through the head of Just Cause. They have lost the control. They have lost the entirety of B side. But World War from that long range gets a kill on the Rapid Air. But unfortunately, Jihunyu in an M44. Lays Woodward what down to rest as he covers him uh, covers his face with a white piece of fabric. Secret is gonna be the last member remaining. Ji Hun Yu decked out with the M4 and Voy with an XM. Completely whiffed out every single shot that he's supposed to take. But Voy to uh Voy 2 came out from the other side, used the 10 uh XM 1014 for uh, with his very benefit. Gets himself a really nice kill. And the economy should be looking pretty darn good for now. Total of 40, uh, 3,300 gold for Voy and Rapid Air with a lot. Or more than, uh, than 5,000 gold for himself. And there is a single opera from the side of Four Seasons and the rest of the members is just going to be decked out in AKs. Well, Sigma... Man. The economy crashed. As Sigma's goes for the initial take, initial rush over to the fountain. Didn't quite do well, unfortunately. But fortunately, the M44 can still be uh, can still be picked up by Just Cause. It is still in range. Just Cause did not lose any health as it slowly scurries and slithers his way down underground, climbs back up. Doesn't quite see anyone just yet. Slowly. Moving through the park. Afghan lands two body shots, one headshot. Lift out long. Tries to go for the headshot, but only landed one onto the belly. But Wood what what? Doesn't care anymore. With the XM 1014 in the long range quarter combat. He managed to get the headshot in. And Rapid Arrow with the AWP. He's all alone. He can def definitely make this play. But is it worth it though? Does he really want to go for this play with an AWP against two members in a side? Not a fan! He whiffs the first shot! He's looking for the next one! But ah, oh, there we go. The other one is right outside the toilet. But getting a little bit too jittery. That was... That was the that wasn't a trigger discipline for the side of Rapid Air. Not much of a trigger discipline. It's really unfortunate. But all in all, seven to twelve, Zigma has got a great, great advantage. Just a few more rounds before the end. They are pretty darn happy, I dare say. And it does seem like se uh, four seasons. They are gonna go straight in for a rush as all of them swap right through of B long. It didn't quite work out that well. One for one trade. Are we gonna be looking at more trades? There's a two for one trade. Three for one trade, four for one trade, and boy two, five for one trade. None of the members from the side of Sigma has yielded over to the side of Four Seasons Gaming. That fast play was just not the play. I don't think the Four Seasons is interested in going for fast pushes anymore. I highly, highly doubt so. No more fast pushes for the side of Four Seasons Gaming. They're just gonna be working with whatever that they have. Go, it, uh, go for it slow. Maybe around the world in two minutes. Tries to take it up right onto connector. Wood or what? All you gotta do is just open the door and unleash all the black shot in the face of boy. Goes for one, goes for two, and oh, we're almost getting himself the third. But Reality M coming right up from the top. Oh, ah, come on, from behind the actors and boys as well. They're just not well the and fourteen and just putting all of that lead into the bodies of all these gaming now. Bad disrespect, man. Bad disrespect. They don't care about using 
rifles or whatnot anymore. But hey, sometimes you gotta say. You may say that it's mad disrespect, but hey, if it works, it works. If it works, it's a strat. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the shotgun strategy. As long as Four Seasons Gaming, they understand that Zigma is playing shotgun. They need to start playing slower. They need to uh, start playing further away. Utilities is gonna be pretty darn important. Back themselves away from all of the smokes. And the other end, lens one. Just cause, lens one. Not gonna be good. Just cause goes down to the side of Jihunyu. That's a great, great start. But it could be better by not sacrificing two of his other teammates. Oh, come on. One dig. One dig! And finally, the last man is still somewhere inside of B Long. He's holding his shot. He's got his up. And he's gonna make it. Uh, right. What up? I, I can't rhyme. Up. Up. Mop. He's gonna. He's gonna mop the floor. It doesn't make sense. But the whole point is the fact that Boy 2 tries to take a shot down onto the side of Zygma. I think he did not get the shot down, but oh, there goes a push coming from the side of, of, of reality. Boy 2 is still alive. He takes a second one in no scope through the wall. What do I have to take the fall? And unfortunately, secrets come in from heaven. So what's in heaven? Somewhere. But that was a really good shot nonetheless. That's a really good play. We are now on. The most important round. 7 to 15. Match point. Boss is gaming. Take it or leave it. Yeah, economy is not looking good at all. It's definitely not looking good. While Zigma is decked out in off XM 1014s and Scar. This is not fun, boys. Ghost. This is not funny. Seekers takes one down. Reality takes one down as well. Just cause with the, uh, with the XM1014 and a headshot at that. Jihunyu goes around the park. Reality gets a nice shot on his own teammate. No scopes it out! <laughs> Jihunyu gets a kill on Reality and that come on with the final headshot to decide the game. With a single one digs, Zigma! takes the game away and manages to go for a flawless 2-0 in this best of three series. First in Inferno and finally in Overpass. Congratulations over to Zigma. They are going to be advancing over to the round of 16 and they have concluded the game.